want to look at a little bash script and sort of a movement toward keeping the, the Ubuntu systems up to date. So one can sort of search for the, uh, the software that's going to update and find it and then go use, use that to sort of manually go through the desktop and, and find it. Um, but I want to take a different approach. I want to start writing a script and then, then we can run the script and, and sort of automate, sort of move towards automating this procedure. We're going to use uh, apt-get um, so we can, uh, our command, so we have a bin bash, so it's, we're writing a little bash script. So we we'll start off the usual with shebang bin bash. Um, and I'm not going to do it here, but I say at the top that there's going to be some output. So at this stage, I want to, to see then something happened with this little script. So I want, want whatever output, uh, running an update and an upgrade do to sort of to show up. But um, if you wanted to, when you really got things sort of automated, if you wanted to sort of not show all that, there's a way to do that. And you sort of um, use sort of the arrow that you might normally use to put output into a file. Instead of putting it into a file, you'll send it over to dev null. And so that that's just sort of sending it, sending it to oblivion, sending it nowhere. Um, and then you'll find out when you, if you were to do that, that there are two types of output. There's like the normal standard output, and then there is error. So you might have to direct two things to dev null if you want to do that. So I'm not doing that in this case, but I'm just saying that is an extension of this little uh, uh, script, if you will. Okay. So um, this to run this command, if you were to sort of install stuff, uh, you expect to sort of have to elevate your privileges and that's what sudo does too. And so sudo is going to uh, prompt you for a password. Do you, do you belong to the group? So you, you as a normal user don't have the permission, but you belong to a group that is allowed to elevate your permissions to do it. And that's the the sudoers group. And so if this will say, you know, if you belong to sudoers, then we'll ask you for your uh, password and then move on and allow you to run these commands. And I always like this uh, XKCD uh, cartoon about sudo. Um, so read it for yourself, make me a sandwich, no way sudo make me a sandwich and it does it. So that's the sort of effect of a sudo. You don't have, as your normal self, you don't have permissions, but sudo, you're sort of elevating your own permissions uh, so that you can, but it will prompt you for the password. So it makes you aware at least that you're doing something uh, at a higher level than your normal level. Okay, what else? So we're gonna use an app get, and let's say we don't know what app get does. So one way to do that is to get the help to, to run the, get the manual for app get. So I can get that at the command line by saying man, and then the name of the command, in this case, app get. And app get is sort of a whole family of commands. And it's, um, it's a way to sort of get things and, uh, get and install things. apt get is command line tool for handling packages and may be considered the user's back end to other tools. Okay. And we're going to do an upgrade and an update. And they sound an awful lot alike and I always get them confused, frankly. So, but that's here in, in the manual. So here's the update to uh, sort of go out and sort of find what's available. So it's sort of not doing it, but it is finding it. So it's resynchronizing. So it's finding what's out there and they recommend that you do the, an update should always be performed before an upgrade or a dist upgrade. So this is to see 
what's available sort of without doing it. And then the upgrade is the actual install of the new things. So that is update, too many Ds and update, update versus upgrade. Update is sort of a looking to see what's available and upgrade is the actual doing it. It will try to, if you have stuff, it will try to avoid conflict. So it doesn't want to get rid of the old stuff. Um, um, so it's upgrade tries to be uh, careful and not um, cause any conflicts. Uh, this upgrade is supposed to be sort of a little more uh, sophisticated, a little more powerful to maybe uh, fix some of the the errors that might have occurred. So if you're finding uh, things aren't going through, you might want to sort of uh, push to, to a sort of a stronger command. And then another one that I've occasionally used is the clean. So to, to uh, get rid of some old stuff, resolve some possible conflicts. Um, and there are, there are other things in here, as you see. Did I miss clean? There's clean. Clean clears out the local repository of the retrieved package files. So it's trying to um, clean things up a bit, as the name suggests. Okay. So I'm using update and upgrade, sort of see what's up there, and then up and then install those things. Um, I might, if I wanted something a little stronger, I might work with also either dist upgrade or clean. And so we talked about apt get, that's we're in the manual for up date and upgrade. We were in the manual, we saw the distinction between them. We looked at sudo giving ourselves permission to do this because after all, we're installing something. And then we need the minus y. And that's also here in the manual. And here now I'm into the options part. So there's sort of a family of commands. So upgrade, update, clean, those are all different variations. And you can also use app get to install not sort of Ubuntu more system files, but um, sort of to, to download software you want. That's, a, that's something you can also do with apt get. Um, and then uh, here we're looking for the Y option. Why do I have this Y option? So the Y option, so if you perform an update, one, there's going to be some output and I'm not doing anything with the output or the error messages. I'm just going to keep them and leave them as B. But one thing, um, even if you have the permissions to uh, install new software, it's going to tell you, this is gonna take this much room, do you want to do it? So it's going to, prompt you with a question to say, you know, do you really want to, are you willing to use up your space for this purpose? Um, and the minus Y will say, the answer is yes, don't, don't ask me the answer is yes. So, so it's sort of, we'll still have this, the interaction with the user from sudo to enter the password, but we won't need the yes, I'm willing to, uh, use the space. We won't get that uh, interaction because of the minus y. Okay, so let's over here and get out of Q to get out of the men. I am, I didn't, let me run an ls, I'm in documents. Uh, there is my update sh. I didn't make it executable, so I'm going to just invoke it with uh, the command bash. And it wants my password that was expected. And now it's looking and bringing down things and so I guess installing them, fetching them, installing them. And so it is doing the upgrading my version of Ubuntu as we speak. And then it will let me know at the end if it needs a restarter or anything like that. It did not say it needed anything like that. So there we go. So that was um, a little script for uh, up keeping our Ubuntu up to date.
uh, some of the options, some of the things I didn't do, but uh, could have done, like clean, like dev null. All right. Well, thanks very much for your attention. That's what I wanted to show you at this stage.